Back from Glasgow, completely a dose of the lurgy, which is something I probably picked up in public transport over there. And waiting for me when I got back was this wonderful light. Now, some of you ask why I buy certain things from eBay or how I find them. I'm always looking about in eBay for things that are quite interesting. In this case, I saw this lovely chromed plastic case going down into a lamp holder. I thought, that's quite interesting. So this colourful rotating lights. Cool. Banquet stage party place hall bar and morgue, apparently, because here it is. And it lives up to the hopes. If I take it out, it's got this chrome coating on it. They've coated the plastic with a base of metal and then they've chrome plated onto that. But then they've put a yellow cover over. The yellow cover might actually save you while you're screwing this into a lamp holder. Let me bring in the tester. It's set continuity. Let's connect it to the outer shell. Now, keep in mind that in a correctly wired situation, this shell here should be theoretically connected to neutral, but that doesn't apply if you've got a, a non-polarised plug, and it doesn't apply if you've got one of these adapters, being it capped to Edison screw, because they can go in either way. And if I've called one of these clips onto the metal shell here of the, the lamp holder, and I touch it to the chrome, then I get a scratchy but a reasonable enough. The, the chrome is live. It depends where you touch it because it's got that yellow coating on it. But the yellow coating is little flakes, so wherever you hold it, you're almost certainly going to be touching some of the sort of bare metal. And it's going to impart a significant shock if that is connected to live. But nonetheless, let us plug it in. Let's plug it into a known socket that we know is correctly polarised. Let's also plug it into the hoppy and then we'll pop the lid off and take a look inside it. So here's the flickery hoppy. It's got competition now for disco lights. Let's screw the lamp into the holder before. Uh, plug it in, plug it in, and it looks quite nice. Let me take the exposure off. Let me be very careful to make sure that I'm not touching that chrome before I reach over to the light. Take it off. It looks pretty good. It's got the... It's not just... Um, the sort of red, green, blue. It's got red, green, blue, white, yellow, and pink. The pink's not very bright, but that's just how it usually is. It looks good in the camera, though. So now that I've done that, well, let's take a look at the power rating. The Hoppy, because the low light levels, is not flickering. That's nice. Uh, it says 4 watts. Power factor 0. 0.5. That's what you'd expect of these power supplies. Current supply voltage here is just nudging 246 volts. Okay. Rightio. Let's take the exposure off. Let's uh, let, let the light crawl about on the bench itself. Unplug it and pop the end off it. I shall lock the exposure so it doesn't yo you up and down. Why do they do this? Do they not understand that you know, chrome plating is conductive and yet they just jam it into the lamp holder? That's so strange. They must realise that, surely. So, once we get inside, it's the usual thing, a screw comes off the end, and there is a loose, really obvious through the side of this, there is a, is a loose power supply. And it's the classic arrangement, it's the power supplies driving the LEDs, and they're all wired in series, and then tapped across one LED is the motor, uh, which is just a little geared 3-volt motor, and it's just using that um, as a convenient 3-volt source by tapping across that one LED. Typically speaking, those motors only draw about 3 volts. So I would guess that since one of these chips is red and the others are all gallium nitride, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, about 17 volts across that from this unit, probably running about 350 milliamps, because this will be one of those classic little, uh, little power supplies. Let's take the cover off it. Let's see what it is. Let's take uh, some screws out. Up the thing to bits completely. They also do this uh, light, if you actually like it, in a white version where the plastic is all white, so that should be a lot safer. This one's very odd, it's black, but it's got that slight golden sheen to it because it has been sort of sprayed in the processing and it's got that some of it's gone inside it. So here is the little motor and here is the circuit board. We've got the switchboard power supply here. Let's get the 
sticky tape off it. Noting that uh, there's, no, there's no casing around it as such, and it too has bare metal bits, and the chrome comes up here. It's, it's quite exciting. Let's uh, get this off and see if it's got a little bright power chip or if it's doing it with discrete transistors like the super cheapy ones. So uh, I'm completely feeling here. I'll tell you what, let's just whip this out. There we go. That's going to make it easier. I have no great need for disco lights. There is a strange little metal slug there. Oh, it's a soda joint that's been cropped off and it's really deep. That's strange. The capacitor, which I've just stuck my finger over, um, is we've got the incoming supply. It's going through a bridge rectifier, smooth capacitor, and there is a little chip there. Is it going to be a bright power chip? No. It says 76UYL9. This is just steamed up. Uh, 76UYL9 Jai Jai or JJ. To N or H. It's like the laser engraver just gave up on the last character. I think it's an H. Um, I'm not even going to bother searching for that because that just smacks of one of those numbers of these chips are made specifically for the driver, LED driver industry, and they don't have any sort of, a, you know, they're not really made available to, to the likes of us. The capacitor is a YX capacitor. Do, is that the same YX that does all the solar chips? Not really sure. But there we go. It's a classic arrangement. It's just a little LED light with the motor tapped across one of the LEDs. The main exciting feature is the large quantity of live chrome plating that's connected to the body of the lamp holder. That just makes it very exciting.